Longtime civil rights leader Reverend Jesse Jackson will be stepping aside from his Rainbow Push Coalition leadership position. CBS 2's Jermont Terry was at the coalition's headquarters for the start of its annual convention tonight. The sign outside the Rainbow Push headquarters sums up the sentiments of those inside. Dozens came out Friday night on the 35th anniversary of Reverend Jesse Jackson Sr.'s presidential run in 1984 and 88. For President of the United States, the Reverend Jesse Lewis Jackson. Wearing their nostalgic campaign buttons, many in the room spoke of the hope Jackson provided during the unsuccessful bids, yet historic. He has dedicated his life to serving and empowering the disenfranchised. They have created hope in a community that need hope. This presidential anniversary comes on the heels of the civil rights leader announcing he's stepping down from Rainbow Push after more than 50 years. Bishop Tavis Grant with Push recalls the moment Jackson informed them. All of us were quite uh, in shock, but excited and enthousi enthusiastic that he would take the lead. Back in 2017, Jackson announced he had Parkinson, yet he never wavered. His fingerprint and footprint is global. And now, six years after battling the disease at age 81, Jackson is retiring on his terms, leaving behind a huge legacy internationally, but especially in Chicago. Harold Washington, Jesse Jackson. Um, Dr. King, Jesse Jackson. Uh, changing the political landscape, Chicago and Jesse Jackson. They're hand in glove and you can't have one without the other. And with so much history with Rainbow Push and Jackson, Bishop Brent ensures everyone the fight continues for years to come. And the future's bright, not just for Reverend Jesse Jackson, but Rainbow Push. Reverend Jackson did not address the crowd here Friday night, but he is expected to speak about his retirement here at Push headquarters on Saturday. At that time, he will also address who will replace him. At Push headquarters, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.